The soft serve that Dairy Queen sells is not ice cream. It's mostly air. This all started when the FDA ruled that Dairy Queen could no longer call their famous soft serve dairy-based treat ice cream. Why? Well, to be classified as ice cream, a product needs to contain at least 10% butter fat. Dairy Queen's only contained 5%. Then what is it? Well, for a while, it was actually called ice milk. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice milk. Yeah, it just doesn't have the same ring to it. Luckily for us, though, that name was short-lived as new laws paved the way for it now to be called reduced fat ice cream. So while that answers the question of what to call it, we still have the question of, well, what is it? Because really, how does Dairy Queen create this I can't believe it's not ice cream dessert without using all that fat? Well, the answer is air. Like your chip bags, your ice cream has a surprising amount of air inside of it. On average, ice cream actually contains between 30 to 50% air, with some equipment manufacturers suggesting that soft serve can get as high as 60%. So the next time you go in for a cone, remember what you're paying for, because let's get one thing straight. 